Yes, you read that title correctly. Dream has been exposed recently for making some, um, some jokes, which are deemed unacceptable by his community and are deemed edgy by everyone else. <laughs> if you have no clue what I'm talking about, then I'll basically fill you in on some context. As of recent, some jokes have surfaced that include Dream and involve Dream that's essentially, you know, exposing him for making really edgy, dark humored jokes. Now, one of them has already, like multiple of them have been posted, but one of them was posted a bit ago where he like makes a joke about segregation. I'm not gonna play it because YouTube's going to destroy me but take with that what you will people got really mad at him for that and there's currently already a dream convoy going on that has nothing to do with the jokes so this tweet coming in on april 11th is probably going to help out a lot with this controversy correct well you'd be wrong i want to preface before i get into this video that there's going to be uh edgy little jokes made not by me uh, by dream of course so if you don't want to hear that then click off also i want to preface by stating that you should subscribe yes you right there you should click that red button and that post notification bell so you never miss an upload but essentially we'll just get into the context of, of this recent tweet that has been brought up yes the dream edit is real here's the clip plus a link to the wayback machine i say that it saved over 672 billion web pages where you can see and watch the whole video as it was in july still 2020 unlisted on dreams channel now as the tweet entails this video is an edit of uh a certain group of people that I'm not going to disclose. I'm sure you know the reason as to why. But I will show the edit blurring out the, um, the imagery. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm a little slow. I'm, I'm recording this in the morning. But Until it is basically white. <laughs> Noodle soup. Nom 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 nom. Alright everybody, that is all. Um there you have that right there was essentially the <laughs> the clip. Now I don't condone these jokes by any means I personally don't think they're funny. But I'm not gonna speak for a group. I'm not entirely offended by it because I can physically not be offended by it. Like I don't think it was a funny joke, but like come on, you read the date on this, it says twenty fifteen. Realize how that has been seven years of time since that video was uploaded. I mean, I hate using the excuse that it was a long time ago, so you gotta excuse it, but seven years. Dream is allegedly like 22 or something, in his 20s or something along those lines. By then, he would have been like, what, 15 if we're going by that margin? You're telling me you've never seen an edgy 15-year-old in your life before? When are people going to accept when you hold someone at a high standard, they're obviously not going to be that perfect. You hold him at this standard that he's like the all-powerful godlike being and then when he has one faulty or a couple of mistakes seven years ago he's suddenly the devil himself like it's not even funny nor fair at this point you can't just hold someone to a standard and then be mad when they don't live up to your high expectations and i still want to dwell on the point of it's seven years ago more because again it was seven years ago. Seven years ago, I was still eating Go-Gurts and watching Markiplier. Put that into perspective. 2015, half these people were also eating Go-Gurts and watching Markiplier. To act like a f edgy 15-year-old making jokes about the has been like something that's never happened before is blasphemous to say at best criticizing the actions of a 15 year old dream at that time i don't believe dream even had a, as big of a platform as now to cancel someone over edgy jokes that have been a long time coming is just inexcusable and stupid obviously i don't condone the jokes by any means and it's not access like acceptable in our day and age but that's saying our day and age, not 2015, not seven years ago. Actually, it's almost about to mark exactly seven years. What is it, two months until it's actually seven years ago? So I'm not even making a generalization. Yes, it has been almost seven years at this point. So people in the replies that are actually devastated by this information, please, and I mean please, find another role model that you won't hold to such a high expectation. So people are trying to explain what the KKK did and how they affected the black community's lives, acting like the people that are talking about it have no clue what we're talking about. Obviously, we've been through a history class, we know what this is about. And they may not teach it in school, but even then, you would still know. Again, I don't contone these jokes. But it was also seven years ago. To stop interacting with Dream as a whole and stop supporting them, even though that's been your life for like the past two years, over something so silly, 
is just that silly. To hold Dream to the same standard as his 15 year old allegedly self is a dumb comparison and I can't believe it's actually being made. Or oh, a 22 year old who has been free clean of any uh, edgy jokes or anything that could offend any community for the past couple of years. But then when he was 15, now I gotta stop interacting with him and supporting his content that he creates that has nothing to do with what he said seven years ago. It's so devoid of like time. If you literally just think about the timing for one second, you realize, hey, he was like a teenager when he did this. I don't think it's acceptable to compare his present self to his teenage self and try to rightfully cancel him over it. It's silly in a dumb comparison because they're not the same person. Dream is 22. His brain is fully matured. Dream when he was 15. I'm 100% putting all my money on his brain wasn't matured. He wouldn't understand the social construct to, you know, not make those sort of jokes because he's in high school. His brain is not matured. There's no way you can possibly compare this and this is a dumb comparison to not interact, support, and even cancel Dream currently because of something he said seven years ago. Here, I'm not trying to downplay the edit. I'm not try trying to say, oh, it was just a joke. It's not that bad. I'm trying to say the person that was making the joke did not understand the severity of the joke they were making and how it could have offended the community. I'm talking about how they were immature, brain is not matured, so therefore they cannot make rightful decisions that you can hold them accountable for. People are asking, oh, why didn't Dream address it? And whenever he was asked for proof that it was fake, uh, he just was blocking people. Because he can understand that he was 15 and shouldn't need to show proof. Obviously, it was a dumb claim to make that it was fake, and that's disingenuous of Dream, if that is true. I mean, this is only, seem this is only from a reply thread, so I'm just demunking people that are stating this, even if it's inaccurate informa information. He shouldn't have to respond. He should just say, yo, I was like 15, chill. But nobody in Dream's fan base decides to take a moment and sit down and just think about what whatever is happening. Because them themselves are mostly immature children, so you should be able to understand the standpoint that Dream is coming from with this. It's honestly just stupid how you can't understand when you are like around the same age as Dream. You haven't done anything weird before that you would find, you know, shameful when you're in your 20s? I don't know, maybe Stan, a Minecraft YouTuber? Wouldn't that be a little embarrassing? But that's just if you ask me. But again, you cannot and I mean, you cannot fully say with certainty that Dream is totally 100% responsible for his actions. He does not deserve this cancellation, period. He was 15. I don't know what you expected of an edgy 15-year-old back in 2015. If he's not 15, my mistake. But he's definitely not mature age. He's not a mature enough age. But uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. If you did enjoy, go down and hit the subscribe because I make these sort of content all the time. Speaking of this sort of content, you should see a video up on the screen now that will basically show you and direct you to a new video of mine that I've made. And uh, if you if you just want to see more content exactly like this one, then you might as well go have a watch at that. Go follow my Twitter for daily content updates. And finally, make sure to leave a like on the video. And once we get to 10K, I'm buying Miaba merch. So if you're interested in seeing that, then go ahead and subscribe. Well, uh, yeah, that's about it. Bye.